I'm not surprised by that. I would expect Jerry to say that, especially when you think about the expectations on the Cowboys every year. Jerry's going to be 80 years old this year. So the amount, the, let's be honest. Like this team, it's about the roster. It's about the rest of the division. And it, there's a reason we've been calling it the NFC least, right? So when all those factors, the roster, Dak's contract, you know, how many times you're going to have a team built like this that has the potential to get to the Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. And so for me, it, the star, that means Super Bowl all the time. You know, Dominique, I feel like it has been months now that we've been saying, is this a Super Bowl caliber team? Can this be a Super Bowl caliber team? Finally, the time is about to come that we will find out one yeah. way or the other. It starts on Sunday. What's the pressure point? You hear Jerry is putting pressure on the team. He expected to win. Where's the pressure on the most for this team to get it done? Yeah, I mean, I think the pressure is always on the quarterback. But once you get past that, I think it's really a lot of attention goes to the linebackers. I think what Kyle Shanahan is going to do is going to neutralize the defensive line, the play action and the running attack. That strong pass rush that they have is not going to be much of an impact. But since they have guys like Micah Parsons in that second level who are incredibly fast, incredibly athletic, he, uh, I think Kyle Shanahan is going to try to use that against them and try to use misdirection, a lot of counters, the end arounds with Debo Sam Samuels play action boot, the type of stuff that's going to get a guy like Micah Parsons, a young guy who's explosive and is hungry in his first playoff game to make an impact. He's going to be going 100 miles an hour at whatever he sees in front of him. So I think it's important for him and, frankly, everybody in that second and third level to take their time, slow down, make their reads, and react to the reads, not react to what um, kind of eye candy that they're going to put out there. Because I guarantee you, Kyle Shanahan wants to attack that kind of center of the defense, the heart of the defense, the linebackers, and put them in run-pass conflicts. And somebody like Micah Parsons could be susceptible to that, even though he's one of the best defensive players we have in the league right now. Correct. He's spectacular. He's so spectacular, sometimes you forget he is a rookie. So I think that's an important point. You know, Tim, I haven't had a chance to talk to you this week. It feels like the moment the matchups were settled, there was this whole, oh, my goodness, look what happened to, <laughs> you know, look what happened to Dallas here. What do you think of this matchup for the Cowboys? Yeah, it, Granny, it's the first thing I thought of. I was working Sunday night, you know, and boom, it pops up. And I think that's a tough draw. And uh, it's like uh, Dominique and I are sharing a notebook. The reason it's a tough draw is that for, the 49ers are a really physical football team. But the other thing they do, maybe better than anybody, is the misdirection passing game. But they also do a good job of it in the run game. And it's what works against fast flow defenses. It's what, it's what you do. You basically say, look, you're really good at that. You're, you're going to run to the football. But we're going to use that against you. We're going to take your strength and, and, and basically make it a weakness of yours. And you think about what Dominique said, and he knows. Like, you're saying, hey, you're on the defensive side of the ball. We need you to slow down. Like, like, that, like that's literally right. what, what you're thinking about. And it's kind of counterintuitive to how, you know, Dallas has played defense this year. It basically has been, look, we're big, fast, athletic. We're just going to wind you up and let you go. And you can't do that against this 49ers offense. Can I throw a different thought in there? As I was listening to Jerry talk, it occurred to me, because I asked Dominique, what's the pressure point? And we brought that up in our meeting this morning. As he's saying, it's about availability. We're in good shape. Everybody's here. We're ready for a run. That feels to me like the pressure goes on the coach. It feels uh, to me like well, he's basically saying there are no excuses. This is a Super Bowl team. I, I feel like I have the team to win this thing. Mm -hmm. If this doesn't go well, especially if they're one and done, I feel like a lot of the attention will go on the head coach. Mike McCartney just needs Mike McCarthy just needs one game. One game. If he can get one game, if he can get past the 49ers, I think he's he's good. But if they were to be one and done with this roster, after how many times we've been talking about Mike McCarthy this season and does he put his team in the best situation? Does he understand clock management? Is he going to is he going to be the liability for this roster? It's going to be bad in Dallas if, yeah. if he's going to I mean, to I think it. Mike McCarthy's responsibility goes past just the time management, but it goes to the stuff that we are just talking about in that properly preparing young guys like Mike, Micah Parsons for the game. The stuff about slow down, Micah Parsons may or may not be watching Get Up this morning, but whether he is or isn't, I think that that's on McCarthy to go get that message to these guys. Like, this is how they're going to attack you. I know this mm -hmm. is your first playoff game. I know you're excited. I know you want to make a big play. But watch these 30 plays from the season that they use this type of action to fool players like you. So I think that falls on Mike McCarthy also, how prepared this team is. And understanding that the best thing they can do for their defense is get out to a good lead early offensively. So that pressure goes 
Mike McCarthy, right to Kelly Moore, right to Dak Prescott. That, no, that's exactly right. And both Moore and Dan Quinn, the, the, uh, the coordinators, are guys who are being talked about for potentially other coaching jobs. All right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.